Hi everybody, my name is Peggy aka Peggy Peg. Welcome to my channel. So today I am gonna do an updated roller set technique. So yeah, on my short hair. Uh, today is actually gonna be the first time that I'm gonna do my roller set on my short hair. The two last time that I washed my hair, I just let it hair dry. But today, uh, because of this video and also because I wanna see what it will look like, uh, roller set. We're gonna do that, <laughs> all right? So I'm gonna do the, the same steps. The only thing that is changing is the size of my rollers. So they are a lot smaller than the one that I used to uh, use on my long hair, of course. So what I'm gonna do first is wet all my hair. So my hair is already shampoo, condition, uh, deep condition and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna wet it a little bit more first. So for this step, you really want your hair to be dripping wet because you want it to stick on the roller. So that's the key. And also you don't want it to uh, start drying because that's gonna cause a little bit of frizz and we want it, we want it to lay super flat on the rollers. Once that's done, I'm gonna use this uh, main and tail detangler. So this thing is like a miracle in a bottle like this thing detangles all of the nuts and tangles that can be left in my hair uh, after the uh, after i detangle it in the shower with my conditioner so i'm just gonna detangle it a little bit further with a white tooth comb like that Then I'm gonna take a well tail comb and do a part in the middle, a straight part. So now that my hair is separated in two, I'm just going to separate each section in half again. Alright, so I'm just going to do it on this side first and then I'll come back to show you on this side. Okay, so I'm done with this side of my hair. So as you can see, I only have four rollers. So two in the front and two in the back. Uh, I use the gray one in the front because my hair is a little bit longer and the purple ones in the back because it's a little bit shorter. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So what I'm gonna do is separate that into two. I'm gonna follow the line that I have on the other side. I'm gonna work on my front side, uh, front part first. So I'm gonna drench that in water. I use again my detangler. Then I detangle with my white tooth comb. And then I make a ponytail in the middle of that section and I secure with uh, an elastic. Then I use a leave-in conditioner in a spray form. I really like a spray leave-in conditioner than a cream because it lets my hair be flowy and it's not uh, weighing it down. Then I use a small comb like that and detangle my hair again a little bit further. And then I separate this hair in half, in the middle, like one part up and one part down. Like that. 
I'm gonna detangle again the first uh, part, the one that's on top. because I really want my hair to be smooth on the uh, roller. So now I'm gonna take my roller and I'm gonna apply it on top of my hair. Then I'm gonna make my ends stick like that. So that's because there is a lot of water, that's why it's not lifting up. And then I'm gonna roll that up. After that, I'm gonna use two clips like that to secure. And I'm gonna do the same on the lower part. So I'm gonna detangle that. Take my roller but put it under the hair this time, smoothing my end so that I can stick and rolling that up like that. And then I'm gonna secure with two clips again. And now I'm gonna do the same for, for the back, uh, back section. Use a lot of water. Use my detangler. Detangle with my white tooth comb. Do a ponytail in the middle of that section. Then use a spray leave-in conditioner. Detangle with a small uh, well tail comb. Then I'm gonna separate that into two equal sections, two equal parts, one at the top and one at the bottom. Detangle a bit more this top part. use my roller so for the top part I'm applying it on top of the hair smoothing my ends and then roll it up if you see some hair sticking up like that just move it down like that And then use two clips to secure that. Bottom section, detangle that. Use a roller and apply it at the bottom. Sticking the ends. Roll it up. Okay, so now because my hair is a little bit shorter, uh, I got some hair that is actually going down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use another clip and keep it in place, like that. So this is what my roller set looks like. only eight rollers so now because i'm gonna go under the hooded dryer i'm gonna spray a little bit of heat protectant 
and then I'll just apply a thing like that to uh, protect my hair I really don't know what that's for but my mom always used it for me so I'm gonna use it anyway so now I'm gonna go under the hoodie dryer Okay, so now I'm gonna take down my rollers. I'm gonna take again my white tooth comb and just comb everything out to remove the lines of the uh, separations that I made but also the lines of the elastics so I would suggest to do uh, to remove the rollers like straight after you're done with the um, hood dryer so don't leave the rollers like set in that uh, in that position because uh, your lines the lines of the elastics will just stay on your hair and you don't want that so so yeah this is my hair so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to like this video to subscribe to share with with uh to share with with all your friends and yeah i'll see you in another one bye guys <laughs>